The console wars of today aren't quite the same as those of yesterday. These days, there's really not much difference between the hardware, and even the libraries are more similar than they used to be. Not the case back in the day. The Super Nintendo and the Genesis were two very different systems, with very different libraries. To say nothing of the first handheld war, if the Game Boy was the first major handheld, Sega's Game Gear was the first major alternative. And as with the consoles, that alternative was actually a real alternative. Two very different handhelds, with two very different libraries. Now, every war has a winner and a loser. Obviously, the Game Boy was a much more popular product, and it certainly had the better library. But the Game Gear had its advantages too. In fact, while I certainly preferred the Game Boy's games, I actually preferred the Game Gear's hardware. I mean, you could see the screen, for one. It was bright and colorful. And if there's one advantage its library had, it was sports games. You had NBA Jam, Arch Rivals, FIFA, Madden, and of course, the majors, Pro Baseball. So this game was released in 1992, just a year into the Game Gear's lifespan. And again, to have something like this on a handheld, that was pretty mind-blowing back then. I remember seeing the Game Gear for the first time and thinking like, the future's here, you know? I could play NBA Jam in my bed. And you better believe I did. Like, into high school, Game Gear was my jam. And like I said, especially for sports games. And one of the first ones I got was the Majors Pro Baseball. So, uh, if you played a lot of 8-bit baseball games in particular, you already know what this one's about. It's a lot like those NES classics, especially RBI Baseball. Which is fine, because RBI Baseball is still as good as it gets. Majors uses the same behind-the-batter camera, both for hitting and pitching. And, like RBI Baseball, it zooms out to a top-down shot of the diamond when the ball's in play. Sadly, that, that's also where the game makes its only error. You see, the, there's almost not a single thing wrong with this game. Hitting is awesome, pitching is awesome, but fielding, fielding's a bit of a problem. And specifically, the problem seems to be gravity. Evidently, this is freaking Jupiter Stadium. See, when the ball's hit, it doesn't hang in the air whatsoever. So, like an RBI baseball, the ball hangs long enough to give you time to actually move your fielders. In the majors, it just plummets right back down. Actually, everything feels a little sped up in this game, a little too fast. I mean, there's the physics of the baseball, but it's also the runners. I mean, some players are literally impossible to throw out, like Ricky Henderson. Good luck ever throwing him out. He turns base hits into triples. Look at this! Really, it's just, it's the speed of the game in general. It's fine when you're pitching or hitting, but like I said, it makes defense really tough, and in some cases, impossible. Otherwise, though, the gameplay is awesome. Pitching and hitting are really simple and really fun. And the presentation's great. The majors seriously looked amazing in 1992. Nice graphics, and the music and sound are okay. Uh, well, I mean, except for the voice samples, which are, which are not good. Sounds like a robot ghost living in eternal torture. <laughs> For the most part, th this is just an awesome handheld baseball game, and provided you can deal with the fielding, it's still a lot of fun to play. There's not much in the way of modes or options, but the gameplay is so much fun it doesn't even matter. This is back when sports games were like, dangerously addictive. Speaking of dangerous, Ricky freaking Henderson. The guy was unbelievable! Anyway, for Game Gear sports fans, this is a must-have game. It's the Majors Pro Baseball for the Sega Game Gear. And a shout out to our pal Doug from Lomita, California for sending it in. It, this game's awesome. <laughs>